introduction to Adobe Bridge. So what is Adobe Bridge? Adobe Bridge is basically your computer's finder on steroids. You can organize files just by simply dragging them back and forth. You can access your hard drive from the panel on the left over here or you can press this back button up here to get back where you were before. And so in that way it operates like a web browser. It is a very, very powerful tool and all of your organizational efforts start here once you've ingested your files into your computer. So after you finish shooting and you are now ingesting files into your computer, you start here in Bridge. Um, it is not to be confused with Adobe Lightroom. Adobe Lightroom is something that we will cover in another course, another time. Uh, Adobe Lightroom is basically a catalog software which operates much differently than Adobe Bridge. The difference there is that Adobe Bridge has a direct link to the files on your hard drive. So whatever you do in Adobe Bridge will happen on your hard drive. So let's take a look at that. Let's take a look at this file here, grid01, and in the finder, that file is right here. Indeed, that's the same file. If we go over here to Adobe Bridge and we delete that file by pressing Command Delete and say OK, it deletes it in Bridge and it also deletes it on the hard drive. We can do Command Z to undo that. So, Bridge has a lot of really powerful features, and in this lecture, we're just going to get introduced to it. But the, one of the main strengths of Bridge is to the ability to jump back and forth between applications without, um, without really having to go through a lot of steps. So the Adobe software applications are all really well connected, and even applications outside of Adobe are really well connected. So. Um, for instance, you can open a file from Bridge into Photoshop by pressing Command-O, and that opens it in Photoshop. And if you want to jump back over to Bridge, you just, just press Shift-Command-O, and that jumps back over to Bridge. Um, likewise, you can uh, preview files in many different ways on Bridge. So for instance, if we pull this slider back and forth down here, you can make the previews in the preview pane larger. And when you do that, you get more options like the ability to star rate something or um, see more information. And you also have the ability to preview images in the preview pane over here. And when I hover the mouse over that, you see this magnifying glass and you can click that and you can actually preview details inside of the image. So for instance, you can see way back there in this photograph, there are some people swimming back there in this creek. That's kind of cool. Um, the, there are tools embedded within Bridge that allow you to do things that uh, you couldn't do just in your normal finder. You can select all and go to tools and batch rename things. You can uh, also move files more efficiently. So we've all had that thing happen where you highlight a bunch of files and try to drag and drop them somewhere in your computer and you accidentally let go and they get uh, rearranged or they uh, fall into some folder where you don't know where they went and you have to search for them and you have no idea and there are some computer files or some files just lost in the ether in your computer. Here in Bridge, you can highlight the files that you want to move, press Control, click, and go to Move To, and specifically select the folder that you want them to move to. And that's a lot safer way to do it. Um, also, there are workspaces that allow you to set up uh, your workflow so that you can address specific tasks uh, and specific ways of editing. And right now we're in the Essentials tab, which is probably the most used tab and uh, you can resize panes and in this essentials tab you basically have uh, this ability to uh, navigate your hard drive and uh, hard drives on your computer over in this pane on the left 
There's also tabs within that pane, so you can go to the folders. But favorites here is a great one, and I would really recommend that you add any file, uh, full, any folders that you use frequently to that pane. So for instance, we're working in this one now, and we'll add that there, and we can just access it quickly from any uh, from anywhere. So uh, going down, we have a filter function where we can basically filter by different uh, criteria. We can just take a look at the landscapes, just take a look at portrait orientation. We can just take a look at four by fives. We can just take a look at two by three aspect ratios. And um, that's all pretty, pretty powerful when it comes to editing photographs. Um, on the top here, in the top bar, we've got different preset workspaces. And um, for instance, this film strip one is really great for previewing images. You get a large preview pane here, and you get um, kind of the images out of the way down here. You have an output tab that allows you to output uh, files in different uh, formats. And there's a, a PDF uh, section for that. And uh, it's something we'll talk more about later. There's also a libraries tab that ties in directly to Adobe libraries. It's not something we'll get into in this class. Um, there's also a metadata tab, which, which really is about organization. It gives you all of the information about the file, and you can check your dimensions and resolution and filter by those columns. Also, you have a keyword tab. Uh, keywords are very important. They're, uh, uh, they get embedded into the image, and if you're using them on the web, those keywords then identify that image on the web. So when you search uh, any of these places here on the web, those images will be indexed with those words. And uh, it's all keywords also offer a secondary organizational system that uh, allows you to uh, retrieve things outside of folders. And if you hit this arrow, flyout arrow here, you get other ones too. And you can even create your own once you've uh, rearranged and sized all the panels the way that you want them. And you, you can always revisit that. Uh, if you get, uh, if, if things get out of whack and you put them places where you don't want them to be or you want to get back to normal, you can just go to Window, Workspace, Reset Workspace, and it gets you back where you need to go. So in a nutshell, that's an intro to Adobe Bridge, and um, it is where all of your file organization begins. Thank you.